I know who you are. Hey, the cities. you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... <laughs> well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand, if Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim, the queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? The very thought breaks my heart. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership. And now, here we are. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet.
Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tool. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this time. Journey to Warren Road. Speak with Armand Bautier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. He has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> oh, hail the listener. <laughs> My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor! 
I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No! Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg! Wait! <laughs> the listener is serious! <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know! But speak she will! The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Oh, the listener... well... Listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> Questions? The shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition from another time. Yes. 
Darkness guide you. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Brother. Please, not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better. Those white front guards can take down the dragon. So can we. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good to have a customer. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Hmm, all right. How about this? Shadows creep and, and phantoms leap. A man's got... he's got scared... and the demons dared... to... uh... visit upon him... all which... they feared... Brilliant. I know. It's a gift. What the? Mission. 
good. Order of the arm. Stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us. Running an inn weren't my plan, but Follian decided to move here, so I joined him. Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. Rogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Rogar started it himself. That's what they say. See, He's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Lurbuck? Fancies himself a bard. He pays, so I let him stay. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them, but, well, <laughs> look around. Slow. No, it just ain't there at all. Few enough reasons to pass through Morthal before the war started. Now, well, let's just say the front door doesn't get much use. See ya. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. All right, then. The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. Yes. What do you need to take? Until next time. What 
inducing death. Please don't kill me. Got a lot of respect for the restoration school. Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Thanks again for the legwork. It's so bright out here. Those bears making Miss Tempa so angry. Hope you can do something about it.
Another cave. I've spent enough time underground myself, but if you want to go in, I'm right behind you. Time to get lost, friend. I knew I had to go. Time to end this little
Twilight watch it. What do you need to take? Until next time. Something. Come and see what is We are creatures of the Zander. desert. The north wind chills us to the bones. There it is. Ah, home. If you ever need the skills of a Khajiit warrior by your side, I would be honored to travel with you. Until then, here. This is for you. In thanks. May your road lead you to warm sands.